All right, in this video, I want to show you how you can quickly add a GIF to your custom live wallpaper. This feature has been available for several years now. It's just that it was more of a hidden feature and over the past few months, it's where you can easily access it and all you have to really do is copy a URL for a GIF in. I'm gonna show you two examples here. The NOAA, this is the radar right over my state, North Carolina. If you go to Google and type in NOAA GIF, and let's just head to that latest satellite imagery. Now, depending on your location, you may not be able to get a GIF animated satellite image for your particular area. You may have to look elsewhere, but at this particular place, here I can get the US Atlantic coast. Let's check out the Gulf of Mexico. We got a hurricane brewing out there. And let's look at the visible. So tapping on animated GIF for that visible, and we can see this hurricanes are brewing. If we take this URL right here, let's copy that. Now I do have this set up in a custom live wallpaper. Don't worry about the orientation of this. If we head over to the globals for this custom live wallpaper, all we have to do is come in here into this GV URL that I've created and paste that new GIF URL in. But basically what this is linked to, if I go back to the items, we have this animated image. And that is the new piece that has been added over the last few months. Again, this was a hidden feature, but you can add it right there. So there's that animated image. If we jump inside of that, what I have here for the bitmap, I do have a code applied to that, and that's GVURL. Of course, we don't really need the global variable URL, but it's just one spot. You can go to globals, copy it in, and you're done. I set the width to 720, the width of the screen, and I didn't change anything else in here. You can see that this GIF has loaded up. If we save this and apply it to the home screen, it's going to take a second for it to load up because it's loading up a series of images and then it's going to put them together for that GIF animation. But you can see here that it has loaded up. And if this does not update, I have found sometimes that this does not update as often as this does, it's going to be the same URL. However, all you have to do is just come and tap on that image. And by doing that, when you tap this animated image, if we go over to its touch, I have it set to a custom action, force downloaded images, and I think it's force downloaded images update. Yeah, so that's going to force that update. So if you go to sleep one night and you wake up the next morning and it's not changed, tap on that, it should load that new GIF. Now, other quick examples, if we head over to Jiffy.com, notice here we have a square one, but if we find one that's more of a 16 by 9, I'm just going to grab a random one here. Let's go with this first one. This is more of a 16 by 9, I guess you could say. It's not square. We go to copy link, get that GIF link right there. Let's copy that. Let's head on back to our globals for this custom live wallpaper, and let's paste that into the GV URL. Check it. Save it. Apply to the home screen, give it a second to load, and there is your GIF. And notice it is scaled appropriately. Now, there's tons of places you can find GIFs online. The main thing you're looking for is the .gif at the end. Notice that one has it here at jiffy.com, as well as this weather radar right here. We have .gif at the end. Other things may work. This is the only things I've really tested. And again, this hidden feature is now available. For those of you who wondered what the animated image was, this is one application of that. And there you have it, adding GIFs to your custom live wallpaper using that animated image module. If you like what you see and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.